A firefighter is sent through the second floor of a home when it collapsed. The fire happened early this morning on Lewis Coleman Jr. Drive. That's off of Broadway. WLKY's Erica Coghill talked with a neighbor who came home and saw the flames. The firefighter is expected to make a full recovery. As for this house, it's unlivable, but thankfully, everyone who was inside was able to make it out safely. I came downstairs and seen this red stuff coming through my dining room window light. Jamejo Edmonds was getting ready for work around 1 o'clock in the morning when she noticed the glow of a fire. I came outdoors and seen the house on fire, and I called the fire department. It just was in flame. Just in flame. A sigh of relief as she noticed her neighbor had made it out safely. He was um, out outdoors and said, it, it, I asked him, was everybody out? And he said, yes, it was. Everybody was out. It took 38 firefighters nearly 50 minutes to get the blaze under control. When the fire crews arrived, they had heavy fire coming out of the side of the dwelling, which was putting an uh, exposure onto the building to the right. The flames spread to Edmonds home. While firefighters were able to get them under control, damage was left behind. They shattered two of my windows and messed up my gutter on the side and the side of my house. As a firefighter was fighting the flames on the second floor of her neighbor's home, a collapse sent him crashing into the level below. He was rushed to University Hospital with minor back injuries. I hope he's all right and you know be able to come back to work. I'm just thankful everybody got out of it. I mean, every year this time it's a lot of fires. While authorities continue to investigate what sparked the fire, the man who lived here tells me he believes it was his gas heater. Erica Coghill, WLKY News.